So I started swimming recently. I got a goggle tan now. It's kind of embarrassing, so I'm gonna just... Fuck it, I'm gonna just put on some goggles. It's just a little bit embarrassing, so I might as well just... You know, go all the way, you know? You either go big or go home, so, you know, let's just do this. Alright. And get your kiss on. What's up, my quesadillas? The sun's shining, the breeze is breezy. It's July 7th, 2020, a very beautiful day. Today, I'm gonna tell you a little more about myself. And that's right, we got a second camera now. Production quality going up. On a Tuesday. I am what people refer to as a military brat. Now, I know I'm a doll, but I don't know why they have to call us brats. Being a military child, I moved very frequently growing up. It was tough. Every two or three years, I had to leave my friends and make new ones. It went like this. I move, be sad for a year, missing where I used to live, and then the second year, I start developing close relationships with new friends and then leave them again. Luckily for me, I always had a trump card to put my reputation across the board pretty quickly. Every school I went to, I was always the undisputed best dancer in the school. Almost definitely, no doubt about it. Hands down, bar none, 100p, on God, no cap, for real, for real, yes sir, type beat, you feel me? There's always the ballet contemporary dancers, but let's be honest. No one's getting lit when the ballet class is doing a talent show performance. But when they call out Kay Simmons to do a hip hop dance at the pep rally, you everyone going crazy. You best believe everyone getting turned. But I can't lie, I've always had a deep resentment towards ballerina bitches. It all started in first grade when we were sitting down on the colored mat and the teacher pointed at me saying my mom is gonna read a book to the class tomorrow. I was surprised and I told my mom about it that night and she was like, nanny? Next day we had a new student in class and I realized that the teacher pointed at me not because my mom was reading a book to the class, but because the new student was Japanese and I had to teach her. I don't know how I comprehended that so wrong, but anyway, the new girl's name was Tina. I helped her in class, talked to her, translated for her. I showed her how to be a Japanese American. This was when I lived here actually, in San Diego, up until fourth grade when I moved to Germany. But anyway, me and Tina were in the same class the whole time. Like every, every grade, we were in the same class every grade. Make sense? I'm sure they purposely did that so we wouldn't feel alone in Japanese. Now that I think about it, I wonder how classes are chosen in elementary. Like, is it just random or do they group up the Bakugan kids in one class and the Yu-Gi-Oh kids in the other? Like, who even decides this? I wonder how this works. Sorry, I'm off track. But anyway, we're in second grade. I'm six and we made poems in class. And as the class clown, I made a funny poem. I presented it to the class, everyone laughs, and then it was Tina's turn to present. By this time, Tina's been in America for a year and she's already fluent in English. I don't know how, but same thing with me. Like I didn't know a single American word in kindergarten and then by first grade, I already knew English. I remember the first day of kindergarten, we were sitting in a circle saying what our hobbies were and I didn't understand anything, but I wanted to be funny. So when it was my turn, I I sang this song called Toilet Paper Man. I forgot how it went, but I was like, Toilet to Paper Ma. And everyone was looking at me like, and the teacher was like, Uh, so you like to ride bikes? It's crazy how I didn't understand English at the time, but I still remember what she said. Sorry, off track, but anyway, it was Tina's turn to present, and she made a rap. I was like, shit, why didn't I think of that? By the way, I used to think shit was shit with an E. But I was like, shit, why didn't I think of that? I'm the creative one. I've always been the one doing things differently. I remember I was outside the crowd trying to get a little spotlight for myself. Like, hey, hey guys, I can rap too. The uh, Guys, look at me. Look, hey, hey, check it. Smack that, give me some more. Smack that, give me some smoles. Yes, yes, I know. I was a show off, but give me a break. I was a middle child. I needed the attention. And I was used to being the class clown, so when someone else made everyone laugh, it felt like a threat. And then it was my birthday. I was turning seven. And for some reason, I invited Tina to my birthday party. I mean, I just invited everyone in the class. It's kind of sad how in elementary, everyone in the class gets invited to birthday parties, but then in middle school and high school, everyone forms cliques and such, and then no one invites you to birthday parties anymore. I want to encourage some quesadillas that still go to school to invite everyone in your math class 
to your birthday party. Just do it. It'll be cool. Some lonely kids with no friends will be super happy about it. Not that I know th what that's like. I mean, I can't, like, relate to that. I'm just saying, like, for other kids, you know? Like, don't get me wrong. I had a lot of friends. You know, I was really popular and stuff. I've seen way too many alone kids in high school. In Colorado, I walked home for lunch because... My high school was right next to the middle school, which was right across the street from my house. I was walking home one day and I see this Asian boy sitting crisscross applesauce eating lunch far away from everyone else. I talked to him and he legit sounded like he had no friends. I asked him what he's doing here and he was like, I'm just eating. And I said, why are you eating here? And he was like, because this is my spot. And I told him, damn, okay, well, this is a nice spot and you have a good day. And... I possibly prevented the first Asian school shooter. But anyway, you should try to notice people like that. Just say, hey, what up? Hold up, let me, let me. Okay. But anyway, it was my birthday party and Tina shows up. I didn't even have a problem with her at my birthday party until we did a talent show in my living room and I did a dance and got second while she did some ballet in her stinky tutu and got first fucking stupid ass hoe. This ain't too nice, but I remember we sat next to each other in class and I would just pinch her thigh under the desk because she was just annoying me by being there. Kind of like my girlfriend. Maybe I liked her. But anyway, that was messed up. I don't pinch thighs no more. I squeeze butts. But anyway, that's why I hate ballerina bitches. But anyway, I didn't have a problem making friends, but it still sucked to have them for such a short amount of time. When someone asks me who my best friend is, I never know what to say. I got a best friend in every country. And it's always a little awkward when someone asks me where I'm from, because it always goes like this. Where are you guys from? New York. What about it? Miami. Well, my dad's in the military, so I moved around every two or three years, but if I had to choose one, then preferably I would decide on So Miami seems nice. I learned to just say one place now. I choose my answer depending on what kind of person they are. Where are you from, bruh? I'm from Tokyo. Oh my god, I love K-pop. <laughs> I flew. I... That sent me. I'm... Hyphen. Where are you from? I'm from California. Wow, you from Hollywood though? Wow, that is very, very cool. Where are you from, mister? I'm from the Springs. Oh, where is that? Colorado Springs, Colorado. Wow, is there a lot of Springs out? Oh, <laughs> I got some practice in a bit. Wow, I bet there's a lot of springs over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of spring beds. Not too much memory foam out there. It's a joke. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering if I could suck your dick now. I've always longed for the typical movie-like life. Born and raised in one spot. Growing up with all the same people. Knowing everyone in town. I've always wanted to be like everyone else. Where you go to high school with people you knew from elementary. The idea of that was always so cool to me. But I was never able to experience it. I got to live in foreign countries though, which is cool. And I've stepped foot on almost 20 countries. So not to toot my own horn, but... I am a man of culture. While many people become who they are largely because of where they came from, I've never had that luxury. Instead, my personal development came from learning to adapt everywhere I go. I like to think of myself as a chameleon. I know y'all see this coming from 100 miles away, but what can I say? Call me chameleon. I can vibe with any type of person at any place at any time. So being a military child has its perks. And yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. Let me know in the comments if you or your family is in the service and what branch they're in. Oh yeah, one more thing. If my dad was ever waiting for me or my friends, he'd always be like, You're holding up the entire United States Navy. Kind of funny, I guess. And that is all I gotta say. I hope y'all are doing well in the quarantine and... All the crazy stuff going on, keep on keeping on. I'm aware of the fact that I haven't been posting as much and yeah, stuff, it probably, it probably seems different now. I, like even like I feel different now, but just know I am aware of this and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to come back. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like bioflavonoids.